Saturday was mostly gaming, but we did decide to take a little walk before dinner. I tried to catch Iggy attacking the yarn, which he's actually been such a good boy and has not been doing it. This is the first time in like the entire making of this shirt that he has decided to attack it. Oh, wow. But of course, the second that I turn on the camera, he doesn't actually go for it. He just looks very interested for a while here. Uh, I, I'm pretty upset that we didn't catch it, but he's still, he's cute. He's still a good boy. He ended up walking away. Are you looking at the other one, Iggy? That one's not moving. I didn't think you can catch that one. <laughs> so this is the Silly Santa shirt that we started on stream. I ended up not finishing it this week, but I did get some more work done on it. So we have the uh, googly eyes put onto the reindeer. I'm still not quite sure how I want to attach these to the shirt. I ended up making the noses red with thread, and so I'm considering doing some stitching to make the antlers brown with thread. Uh, but that kind of makes it weird for the attaching it to the thing with thread. Hey, 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 hey. no, no, no. Although I can just as easily do brown on the antlers and then brown around it, um, just giving it kind of like an outline look. Uh, Iggy was mostly good through this process, uh, but it it was difficult to put my hand inside the shirt because uh, the second that I do that, he thinks that it's playtime to attack my hand. Uh, but it still went okay. Iggy does make one more reappearance uh, during the filming of this. I did get more done than I did um, in this uh, recording, but I can only record so much on my phone. Eventually I'll get a camera for this. Excuse me, sir. No, no, no. But yeah, so the snowflakes and the presents, I think, are still left to attach as well as the reindeer that I already talked about. Um, I did get the gold beads on, though. So as I get ready for tonight's stream, uh, I'll tell you, weekend was not particularly eventful, even though we had big plans. Uh, those plans did not happen. Um, and so that whole, like, reading a whole bunch on the car ride, that didn't happen. Uh, this is backwards, and I can't work with Unfortunately, my audio was kind of messed up through this chat, so I have a little bit throughout, but that is why you're getting some voiceover check through this. Yeah, that's that's really what my weekend was. I play I played more seven days. I didn't record any of it, although I should have because there were some crazy horde moments that I was not expecting. Um, so I'm gonna try to remember to do. I ended up not playing a whole lot more, so there is no recording of seven days in here. Maybe next week. Um, I did work a little bit more on the uh, silly Santa shirt that we started on stream. I recorded a little bit of that. I have. A little bit left to do. Hopefully we'll be ready by Friday. I may or may not wear it on stream. I haven't even really decided like if that's what I'm wearing. I'm actually kind of upset that I didn't plan out my outfits better uh, because we're talking about um, gingerbread tonight and I have gingerbread pants. But I'm wearing my gingerbread pants on Friday. Um, and my whole thing today is, well, I have, uh, you can't really see them. Um, snowflake pants on. We're doing snowflake makeup. I think 
this makeup turned out super cute. Um, the only critique I have of it is that I think I shouldn't put the color, especially if I'm doing a dark color, uh, you'll see on my cheeks. I don't think I should do it across like my whole nose. I think I should keep it to like the midsection of my nose and leave kind of like the point and the nostrils bare uh, and then maybe put like the highlight on it still. Um, I just think it might look better that way, but otherwise I still think this look is super, super cute. Uh, later in the week, I wanted to use this white on my lips, but then I realized that it is water-based. So the second that I like lick my lips or take a drink, it goes away. The look still looked cute. It just wasn't what I had originally planned. A few clips from Monday night's stream. My drink, I made myself a hot chocolate. I even put whipped cream on it. What is the beauty standard of gingerbread? The more icing, the better. Uh, I ended up gingerbread sized because a small celestial child saw them in the streets and wanted them to be her play toys for cr her Christmas fantasy. So they, oh, this is just like one thing that happens along like a string of things then maybe. So I don't think any one person I almost said something very inappropriate. <laughs> I'll say it anyways. Um, I was gonna say that um, that one person cannot fill all your holes. Um, I'm sorry. This will give us a, a good peek at the rest of the town in its snowy glory. Oh, I should build up to chat. Don't don't chat and drive. Oh, a fox. Don't chat and drive, guys. Sorry, friends. You, I feel like you could have just driven around um, and maybe not gotten so close to my 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 back bumper there. Just go. No. Okay. I tried to let you go. That's that's on you. You're really bad for what is going on here. Are they just still stuck there from when I got them stuck there? Am I going to be able to get into the post office? Um, we're going through the field, friends. Uh-oh, this, this didn't help. This did not help. I thought I'd be able to go in here. Uh-oh. Can we do it? Oh god. Wait, we did it. <laughs> Whoopsie! Hey, it's Tuesday. Thought I'd hop in here and give like a little like actual vlogginess uh, where I'm actually recording daily kind of thing. Um, I forgot what I was gonna Oh, today is kind of like a chore and day. Uh, getting started a little slow, but um, plan to finish the day strong. I, uh, I've i done like some content stuff, done some clips, done some um, editing stuff. I have done the cat's litter and my plan is because I'm doing something easy for dinner tonight uh, that I'm going to do dishes and the cat's water fountain um, while I'm making it slash during the same time uh, that I would regularly be cooking because it's gonna take me less time doing just um, fries and grilled cheese, um, which I haven't had in so long because we don't buy bread as often because gluten-free bread is so much more expensive than regular bread. It's also not as good as regular bread. Um, so I'm excited to be making myself a grilled cheese um, and Fred gets a grilled cheese too. Um, hopefully tomorrow. Um, I've thought about it a few times today and just like not had the, the gumption. Um, hopefully tomorrow I will finish up my crochet shirt and actually do some reading. I love reading. I just, it's that task initiation problem. Um, is like, I have to like get all my annotating stuff together. I have to get a warm cup of tea um, and then I have to start reading. Um, so as much as I want to, sometimes it's really hard to like actually get that started. So tomorrow, my main goal is to read something. So today has been a day. Uh, I spent the last hour dealing with a thing that I was, was I kind of thought I'd be done dealing with at least for this month. Uh, but apparently children are children. And by children, I mean young adults. Uh, especially hateful young adults when mixed in with queer young adults. It's, uh, it's a f mess. Uh, because I was dealing with that, my plans got kind of f I meant to go for a walk about an hour ago. Um, I did finish my naughty shirt today, so that's something to be happy about. I got so much chores done last night um, in a pretty small amount of time, actually. I'm pretty proud of that. Um, 
basically my entire chore list is knocked off except for laundry and then like the litter has to get done um, a couple more times this week <sighs> hold on i hate how much we can hear my breath in this recording i think he has an apple I know it's cold, and I'm walking, and I was not happy, but ugh. What a cutie. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I guess, I guess that's it now. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. I made tea, and I did a little bit of a tarot pull. Belated blessed solstice to those who participate. I'm just doing a quick little cleanse of the space. I know it looks dirty, but it's not physically dirty. Um, I'm not going to go super in depth into the actual reading that I did. But I will tell you what each of the cards was meant to represent. And if you want to tell me what you think it means down below, I think that would be super cool. I think a really interesting and important part of tarot is that while there are regular meanings for each of the cards, decided meanings of these cards, um, it's always interesting to see how different people interpret those cards and interpret those cards together and interpret them within each of their meanings. So the first card that gets laid down is the gift of the season, the second is the lessons and blessings to hold, the third is what needs to die so I can live, the fourth is how to bring the sun back in. Um, so sometimes I use ones that I find online, sometimes I make them up myself, this one I found online, but no matter what, I always pull my shadow card, and I actually do two shadow cards because I split the deck, I do the shadow card and the split shadow card. Um, so I'm showing them to you here, but I have them kind of like above my head to not have them, um, like to not know what they are until I get to the point in the spread that I would like to look at them. And finally, finally, I get to do a little bit of reading and you get some reading B-roll. Um, I'm currently reading through Split Tooth. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I actually have read any, unfortunately, um, simply because uh, I had a lot of schoolwork to do and then I guess I just needed a little bit of a rest as well. The content of this book is a little heavy. Um, so there, there were definitely days where I wanted to read, but I didn't think that that was the right book and I don't currently have a second book to read. When I'm reading a second book, I like to read something very different from what I'm reading and generally I like it to be a fiction and a non-fiction. I just don't have any non-fiction uh, books on my shelf right now that I would like to read. Um, I recently picked up Annotating and I'm enjoying it. Um, it is something to kind of get used to um, and figure out exactly how you want to annotate. Uh, I still have the fear of making marks in my books, so I am using all sticky notes tabs and everything like that. Um, for any highlighting and underlining that I want to do, I use a uh, transparent sticky note and it's working okay but the problem with them is that the sticky note isn't quite wide enough to cover the words but it's very silly to use a second one to cover the rest of the words so I'm kind of getting creative with how I place those. Right now I'm trying to figure out 
how to deal with tabbing for themes when you don't know what themes you're going to be tabbing for yet. So uh, for most of the themes, I'm using the same color and I'm just writing a number on it to correlate to a theme. But in doing this, during this reading session, I actually ran out of tabs of that color. So I've had to add in a second color of tab for themes. Um, so if anybody has any tips on how to decide what tabs you're going to use for what things, uh, I'd appreciate them for sure. Um, you see me flipping back a few times throughout this to check what color um, each of my tabs is meant to be. I remember what I have tabs for, but not which color some of them are. I actually tabbed a couple of things wrong and then had to switch them back out throughout this flipping back process. Um, when I first started reading this, I was having no problem simply because um, I was reading more often. Uh, but because I read for pretty short periods of time, just where they fit in my day and also whether or not the cat will let me relax and read, um, I'm usually uh, going for about an hour at a time. Um, something else that I'm doing along with annotating is I'm actually kind of journaling alongside. So I generally write a little bit about uh, my day, my mood, what I'm thinking about going into the book before I start reading. And then I also write a little bit after about how I'm feeling after reading, um, kind of things that stood out to me, stuff like that. Oh my gosh, I managed to do it. I managed to get ready in time, but I went shopping before, uh, well, firstly, lunch took longer to make than it was supposed to, apparently. Um, I didn't make it. I was waiting for it, uh, which means I got a lot of stuff edited, actually, but we had decided that we were going to go shopping because we had, like, a lot of stuff that we want to pick up, uh, so we're going to do half of it, or we did half of it today, we're going to do half of it tomorrow. But I didn't really, like, I wasn't really thinking about timing, um, and so I just rushed to put this on. I think it's still really cute. Um, I tried a couple of different things on my lips, so now I have, like, a snogged look by accident. Uh, but I think it's cute anyways. Um, I think these guys turned out pretty cute. Uh, so we're about to start stream. Um, this is the shirt for today. But yeah, uh, we're gonna leave a couple of clips here. Right, see you next week, and uh, happy holidays. I like to put ketchup on my poutine, and apparently that's gross. Uh... I like it. I really like gravy and ketchup together. Like if, if we don't have like good curds, I'm also happy with fries with gravy and ketchup. Um, I just, I think the like sweet acidity of the ketchup goes really well with the like rich um, savoriness of the, the gravy. I just, I think they just go well together. I think it's silly to get mad about it. I mean, it's silly to get mad about people liking food in general. My baby, she crooned, her lips close to its ear. My little baby. My own little baby. What a weird story. I am left wondering what the point was. What? What was that? What was the purpose of that story? The Christmas wind was still high, still shaking the cabin, still rattling the door, still howling like a wild beast in the night, still roaring in the red stove, and snow was falling again. A dry dust of snow which veiled the, wo the wondering stars. That was quite a sentence. <laughs> All done. Hey, what are you two schmoozing about? Nothing. A mailman never tells. Oh, Gabe was thinking about making a move on you? What? That's an option? Oh, uh, Gabriel's uh, New Year's Eve attire. I'm going to say a mailman never tells. A mailman never tells. Thank you so much for checking out this video by Chick of All Trades. Don't forget, if you enjoyed, to like, comment, and subscribe. And please don't hesitate to come check us out live on Twitch.